Hey, it's me, B to the G. Welcome back to the TV. Good to have you. We're talking about expediting the growth of your YouTube channel by leveraging the power of visuals. Specifically, we're gonna talk about thumbnails in today's video. And I wanna share with you right now, I'm gonna swipe through my iPad and I'm gonna show you kind of what it looks like when I create a thumbnail. Thumbnails are critical. The easiest way to get more subscribers is to create awesome thumbnails. Now we're gonna talk about an app, but you're gonna wanna watch this video no matter what, because more than just an app, I'm gonna talk about how to create those thumbnails, no matter if you're using Canva, if you're using Photoshop. I'm gonna talk about the science of how I create my thumbnails, like how I add those cool splat borders, how I add those cool words, and of course, the G. That's coming up on this episode. Stick around. Brian G. Johnson. Hey, it's Brian G. Johnson helping you to stake your claim, amplify your message, and inspire action, like people actually subscribing to your YouTube channel. Holy smokes, thumbnails are the easiest way to get more subscribers quickly. I wanna share with you one of the apps that I haven't talked about yet. It's called Pixel Matter. It's for the iPhone, it's for the iPad, and it's got functionality that no other apps really have. And it allows me to take pictures and to remove elements to size them the way I need, to paint, to color, to scribble, to doodle. Let's get into it right now. So how I make my thumbnails is first, I organize my photos so I can refer to them often. I can use them again and again, and that helps me to create that congruent brand that I talk about. It's so important to create a congruent brand, and one of the easiest ways to do that is to take some pictures, is to think about the color palette you want to use, is to think about the font you want to use. Now, some of these pictures are awesome, but they're not quite uh, optimized for a thumbnail. In fact, look at this one right here. I want to get the text to the right, but there's no more picture. Well, no problem, pixel matter to the rescue. We'll drop in, we're back on pixel matter. I'm gonna click the plus. I'm gonna click photos. Now, one of the things I do is I organize my photos based on photo shoots, traveling, and I can use these photos again and again to create thumbnails that are consistent. And you can see here, I have 2016 Pro. I'm gonna select that. And here's the image that we're talking about. It's gonna pop in right now. Now, I wanna make a thumbnail that has me on the left and most of the text is on the right. That's a problem. Uh, but not in this app. So I'm gonna select Tools, which is the paintbrush. I click on the paintbrush. I select Crop. The first thing I need to do when creating a well-optimized thumbnail for YouTube is select an aspect ratio of 16 by nine. I'll click that now and you can see we're kind of in trouble, but not really. I'll simply come in like this. And now what I can do is I can drag out to about the size I want, which this is actually pretty darn good. Okay, awesome, so there you have it. And what I've done is I've kinda, I'm starting to create a new image, right? And I'm gonna click apply, and so far we've got the perfect size for a thumbnail, but we need to paint, we need to color in the, the area on the right. To do that, I'm gonna select the paintbrush, and then I'm gonna select paint and erase, and notice, first off, we have mixed brush. We have a size, the size is 120 slash 100. We then have a color. So if I come into the mixed brush, you can see I have pencil, crayon, I have marker, lots of neat stuff. I'm gonna select paint, and then I like this mixed brush. I'm gonna select done. One of the things that Pixel Matter allows you to do is select a color based on the photo you're already working on. Notice the little eyedrop tool. I'll select that and whatever I uh, 
position this eyedrop tool over will be the uh, color I, I paint with. So if I select that, I come in and I paint and it's the same color. Okay, but that's not really what I want. What I want is to come in and get the same background color and now watch what happens. Now what I've done is I've come in, I've taken a photo that is awesome, but not perfect, and I needed to modify it, which I can do so well with this app, Pixel Matter. I'm gonna select Done, and I'm good to go. Now let's say I wanna remove an object. Maybe somebody's in your photo you don't want. Maybe there's something in the photo you wanna remove. Well, I can do that again with this app. I'm gonna select this time, Retouch, and then I'm gonna come in to Repair. Now watch this little bit of magic. I simply come in, paint over what I wanna remove, and boom! It's really just that simple, and now what I can do is I can select Done, and at this point, I really don't have a file, so I need to select Export. I'll click the Up icon in the right-hand corner. I'll select Send a Copy, and because I'm creating a thumbnail for YouTube, I wanna select JPEG. It will result in a file, a smaller file size. So I'll select that, and I'm gonna save the image. Now, if we drop out of this app and we come into Photos and we come into our Albums, you can see Camera Roll has got uh, the most recent image we just created. And that's really the process that I use to begin and to shape and to craft and to create beautiful thumbnails based off of a, a photography shoot and I can wear the same shirt in the video that I wore in the photo shoot. It doesn't always have to be perfect, but it works well. And you can see yesterday I came in and I kind of did this kind of thing. Now I want to mention, how did I get these, this beautiful text in my video? Well, I used another app that I absolutely love called Typorama. Now I can't record the screen because if I do, it'll stop because the aspect ratio, it's, it's an app that's optimized for the iPhone, not an iPad. However, I've got a great tutorial video on using Typorama, and I'll link to that right now in the YouTube card, and that is how I really add the beautiful text to my thumbnails. I wanna talk a little bit more about some thoughts about thumbnails, and specifically the science, and I wanna draw your attention to this. So right now, you're in the analytic dashboard of my account, and if I come down to analytics, You'll notice I've done really well over the last 28 days, and I've gained, uh, what was it, like 586, right? I've gained 586 subscribers over the last 28 days. I've lost 51, but really what's important is this statistic below. It's important to know where are those subscribers subscribing. You see, there are a lot of places. Notice channel other resulted in 440 subscribers gained over the last 28 days. Notice the video, that would be the video page, right? So if you're watching a video, you're on the video page. You're not on a channel page, you're watching the video on a video page. That resulted in 145. So nearly three times the subscribers are, are, being, are happening, are subscribing on my channel page. Now this is really important. I wanna share with you some thoughts on optimizing your YouTube channel page. Again, someone's gonna come in, they're gonna find the video you've created, and your thumbnails are all over the freaking YouTube site. Notice as I'm watching my own video, all the videos on the right are mine, and that's based on the, the discoverability strategy, the search engine optimization, the YouTube search engine optimization that I'm implementing. If you wanna learn more about search engine optimization, I'll link to that video in the YouTube card now. So those thumbnails draw people in, and the first thing I wanna mention is notice how simple they are. Notice the use of white space. White space means they're not crammed with all kinds of things. They're really easy to see, and that's important because when we view a thumbnail, it's not a huge thing. It's a little tiny icon, and notice 
uh, the, the icon or the thumbnail rather in the right hand corner, channel growth, 1000 subs. And someone that's searching for 1000 subscribers on YouTube, they're gonna see that and they're gonna understand it right, right away. It's easy to read. Notice the thumbnail on the far right, channel branding. Again, it's easy to read, it's simple. There's a lot of white space. And it, I, I create all of these with the apps that I'm showing you right now. And lastly, this is really what I wanted to share with you is that think about creating something that's congruent. And here I've got a playlist for video search engine optimization and I'm continuing to use the word more, more views, even more views, more views with analytics. And uh, I've got the same color palette, I've got the same font, that helps that, uh, th that playlist stand out and so on. And it's just super important. So understand that you know what's gonna happen is people are gonna search for a video, they're gonna select your video, and they're gonna start watching. And if they deem that they're interested in what you're doing, if they're interested even a little bit in your video, then you might be lucky enough where they're gonna click on your channel icon or profile icon, they're gonna land on your channel, and you wanna optimize your channel so people subscribe. Lastly, notice how I've uh, purposefully included a thumbnail of me holding a subscribe pillow, and I've placed it right in the middle of how to start a YouTube channel playlist so it appears in this position. Hey, you should subscribe. So I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you haven't already subscribed to me, B to the G, I release new videos all the time really focused on video marketing. YouTube, how to create better videos, how to leverage YouTube to gain a following, to build a list, to sell products, to, to just have fun on YouTube. Go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and I'll see you on the next video.